Situation's getting dicey and we haven't even made it into winter yet. Out of California. California power grid officials warn of blackouts, urge residents to conserve energy, set thermostats to 78 degrees or higher, avoid using large appliances and charging electric vehicles, and turn off unnecessary lights. That is right. California, on August 24th, bans the sale of new gasoline-powered cars, and on August 30th, just six days later, California asked Californians to avoid charging electric vehicles due to electricity shortages. You cannot make this stuff up. And we like to poke fun. We say, how's your program working out? You know, we're watching them go broke, staying woke. But we knew that this was coming. We knew that we had to be prepared. We really can't control our electrical grid going down, having shortages with electricity. That is out of our control. But what we can do is we can store our essentials, our food, our prepping supplies are so crucial to our overall investment strategy. None of the crypto, none of the precious metals, none of your real estate, your business isn't going to matter if you can't literally survive the times that we're going to be going through. Now, even if the power doesn't go out, we showed you yesterday. In yesterday's show, we showed some coffee shop owner or something in Europe, in Britain, where his electricity bill was $10,000. So even if the lights don't go out, are you going to be able to afford this program? Now, in Washington state, they did the same thing as well, banning the sale of new gasoline-powered cars. Now, this doesn't go into effect until 2035. But like we've been saying here, Agenda 2030, we have the World Economic Forum, all of these people that have come out in to the forefront. Now it's all out in the public eyes for everyone to see. You don't have to be a conspiracy theorist anymore to understand, oh wow, we have organizations like the World Economic Forum. We have private central bankers like the Federal Reserve. And yet we still have all the haters that say we can't talk about conspiracies. What the hell is the Federal Reserve system that was created on a private island, Jekyll Island, over a hundred years ago to establish the Federal Reserve cabal? And you don't want me talking about conspiracies. The whole damn system's a conspiracy. Get your freaking game up. Pull on your big boy pants. Let's have a conversation. All these freaking guys are lame at the most basic premise. You're just freaking lame. We can't report on it. We can't talk about it unless CNBC confirms it. Best case scenario, you guys are freaking lame. On the other end of the spectrum, I think that you guys are going to miss out on this opportunity. I think that you guys are missing out on um, the setup. Very simply put, you're missing out on what this setup really entails. And if we can agree that there is a conspiracy to roll out a new financial system, well, then it's just a debate of what's the set price going to be. And for these guys that say, well, the FIB levels only take us up to $10 XRP. Great. That, that That'll get the party started. Okay, but for me, we're talking about a whole different conversation for XRP precious metals. What's about to happen eh, over the next three to six months, I think that you never even hear them talk about that. All the all these other crypto guys, all the other haters that say that we can't talk about these conspiracies, they're not touching on any of this stuff, on how this program's a complete failure, the complete and full setup. Not just with crypto, but literally the lights are going out on us. What did we just report out of Mississippi? No running water for the whole damn city. And it's indefinite. They don't know when they're going to fix it. On top of the health crisis, not afraid to touch on that too. So folks, here on this channel, we're going to cover all of our bases here. 